You saw many faces in that video you just watched. But I want you to meet a brother and sister whose faces we're going to put a name to. Tudor and Anna lived in the most unbelievable poverty. They got their clothes from the trash. They watched their father nearly beat their mother to death on several occasions. They came to us broken, but you gave me hope. Meet Tudor and Anna. My name is Tudor, and yes, this is my house. My parents were alcoholics and when they would get drunk, they used to beat my sister and I a lot. Almost all the alcoholics from the, our village would come to our house and they would send me to buy wine. Every day when I would come back from school, my mother would not wait for me with food. She was either drunk or beaten by my father. It was really cold in our house. We were hungry and dirty. When other people would see my sister and I on the streets, they would avoid thinking that we could give them lice or scabs. It is very humiliating to remember how my mother would sleep with other men. One night, when my father was beating my mother, I asked him to stop beating her. He got very angry and made me step on an electric power cable. I was so scared. I started to work at the shipfold when I was 7 years old. The welder workers forced us to do heavy physical work. During one summer, I worked for three months and I only received $30. The second most frequent place I would visit after school was the landfill. My sister and I would often come here to find clothes and food. We used to clothe ourselves from here. We wanted to buy things and have new things, but we couldn't have that. It was impossible for my father and mother to buy new things for us. I am confident that God was one who saw us and loved us. happy that I finally have my own bed. I have a room where I can sleep. Because of people like you and because of your generosity, I now have no areas. I don't look for clothes or food at the landfill. I receive it through the grace of God. Thank you. Because of you, I have the opportunity to study and be a good specialist in social work. Through the orphan's hands, my life was changed radically. I have now the opportunity to have a better future. Thank you. A broken home that represents so much of the pain and suffering that Tudor and Anna existed through for many years. And today they're safe in our village, Vatra village, in Kishnau, Moldova. When they come to us, they come broken. And we tell them continuously, if you are born, God has a plan. You are not a mistake. I know you've been told that no one wants you, that your father doesn't want you, and your mother doesn't want you. But when we begin to speak faith and love into their hearts, 
remarkable things happen. Their lives change and orphans become sons and daughters. Then sons and daughters become missionaries and the miraculous happens.